welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are doing our house tour, hence the reason why we're at the front door. So if you want to come in and join me, then give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and let's go. As you walk in to our house, on our left we have a little plant right here. So we have our little hallway table here and I like just shove our bags here and our shoes and I'd love to get a mirror for this section but we're still like redecorating the house and hence the reason why I've been so late on the whole house tour but through here is our wonderful laundry that definitely needs some TLC um, this is probably the most unorganized room of the house so next to the laundry we have the garage door which we actually use quite a lot this is actually my studio for photography um, I do normally pull it out and do like do photography in the lounge room But we're like building this up and we want to put like some nice wood like floating floors on here And I don't know it definitely has a lot of work to do So if we come through here and over to the left there is our kitchen I've had like quite a lot of questions about this water filter um, It's actually from Nourish Life So I'll link that in the description box down below But this is amazing It is a water purifier It gets rid of microorganisms and fluoride um, Which is a neurotoxin So um, that's definitely a must And then we just have our stove Our jug Our toaster And then we have our little tea cupboard So this has like our baking stuff up there, our teas and sugars, um, coffees and uh, baby formula. And then we have like more teas. If we come over here, this is our pantry. So we have like our pantry stuff. I've actually done a pantry organization, so definitely check that one out. So onto this side of the kitchen, we have our blender, which we use like every single day. So that's why it's on the bench. And then our fruit bowl and our diffuser, which is also what we use every day. And there's also one more thing that I wanted to show you. So we don't actually have our bins out on display just because I feel like there's not really any room to put it. And I wouldn't want it on the other side because that's our entryway. So I do have them in this area here. So it's kind of like a hidden bin section. So we have our recycling, our general rubbish, and our food scraps. Okay, so as you can see, we have this baby gate up to block Theo from coming into the kitchen. So if you walk through here, on your right is our little um, dining room buffet, I guess you could say. And I just keep like spare kitchen stuff in here because our kitchen's not the biggest. So I keep like the baking stuff in here and like any spare blenders and like party stuff and that's a bag of batteries. <laughs> and then if you come over here, let me zoom out a little bit. This is Fido's play section. So I just like got a cheapo mat and um, this is just like where he plays. But so this is like his little box and his play box. And I get like a few toys out every two or three days and we play on rotation. So if you actually come over here where the lounge is, this is actually like a big storage box. So I'll lift it up. And the good thing about this is it has extra storage. So it's just amazing. Okay, so on the other side of the room, across from the buffet, we have our dining table. So I love this table. I think it's so beautiful. We actually bought it from an auction up the road from us. It's actually 80 years old and it's oak. But I do change the chairs to these like grey fabric chairs. I'll just pull them out. Right here. Um, I got these off Catch of the Day for, I think it was four for like $200. I wanted to get two more, but um, we haven't got around to that one yet. And then we just have this like centerpiece here. So we have like coasters and um, more crystals because I love crystals. This wood plank. This was from TK Maxx. So these are actually the real leaves which are the same as the ones in the jar but these are fake so i feel like if you mix the real with the fake it like looks more real if that makes sense i think i might cut these down because they're a bit like how you going they're a bit wild on top of that we also have our gallery wall which we do have to add a few pictures to it um we haven't picked them up yet because we just finished theodore's one year shoot so we'll probably add them in the next few weeks and then over to your right <laughs> is Beatles' little um, eating station. So we have his high chair and then over here is his little 
lounge thing. Which is super cute because we can like pull it out like this and I know a lot of you have like commented where I've got it from and this one's actually from Kmart and his high chair is just a simple one from Target. On this side of the lounge room we have our coffee table as well as like some fake plants. I think I got the green ones from Kmart and these pink um, like foam plants from Spotlight. And then we have like our little TV unit with like some photos and a real aloe vera plant as well as this basket. As for our couch cushions, we actually got these, uh, those two and this one from Target. And this one here, which is so cute. I love how it's like the subtle mint color. Um, we got this from Seaweed and Sand. And then this one here is from TK Maxx. And I love it because it ties in with the rug and I've just kept things really neutral. Um, we also got that rug over there with the bar stools from TK Maxx. Um, I think that one was like $25, so super good. So if you come over here, we have this really cute um, like boho frame print. We kind of just have like a little nook for our like stereo and a plant there and up there we have like a succulent. Over here is our backyard. It's our screen door and we have just a plain rug there from Bunnings. I think it's like jute and like cotton or something. Um, but I'll take you outside and give you a little tour. So we have, I need to get like a like a storage box out here because like that's our kind of little storage corner um but we have our dining table our outside set which isaac's parents gave us so we're really grateful but i think i might spray paint it because it is a bit old but it's i just love it it's actually an eight seater so we have two seats over here and then we have our dog bed and theodore's um like little play area and then we have a swing and another outside sitting area and so that is pretty much that and then our like clothesline. So if we walk down here, on our first left is our bedroom. So I'll take you in and show you that. So our bedroom is kind of like a blank canvas. There's a lot we want to do to it, but it's simple for now. And we're kind of just keeping it that way because we are focusing on paying off our wedding rather than decorating our whole house. But I'd love to get some plants in here. So. I just kind of kept it white and simple. This bed spreads from Target. That cushion over here is from TK Maxx. Our rug is from Seaweed and Sand. And as for our bedroom set, this has actually been in our family for like six years and it was just a hand-me-down. And I actually just marbled these, con uh, like marble contacted these surfaces to like give it a little bit of vamping if you keep coming this way then it is our ensuite which we actually don't use we um our dogs sleep in the shower i know that sounds funny but they have like a little bedroom in there and they stay in there when we go out instead of like a cage because um obviously we don't want them running around outside because it could be unsafe and um they just feel really secure in here we do use our vanity though like we have like our essential things in there, like toothbrushes and hair products. And then over here is our little bonsai tree, guys. It's super cute. My dad actually made that for me. So I get a lot of comments about the natural light coming into my room. And that is thanks to this big window, which, well, it's a door, guys, <laughs> which I love. So I'll take you out here because we have a little veggie patch. So this is our little veggie patch that we're working on and we have zucchini, spinach and lettuce. We also just planted lavender and tomatoes. So our hallway is like really weird. It like is a zigzag. So we have a baby gate here to like section it off and then it's like so weird. So <laughs> if we come onto our right here, which is the first bedroom, this is Fair's room. I'll turn the light on so we can see better. Um, so we just have like a mandala hanging there to like keep it more dark when it is time for him to go to bed. And then we have this chair which I absolutely love. We got this for ten dollars from an op shop. Um, if you're in America, that's a thrift store. And then over here is his wardrobe. And then I'll just quickly show you in here. So that is that. And then we have like a blanket box for like storage stuff over there. But we don't really use that much stuff in there. 
And then again, like he has a lamp. I would love to like get a lamp that's a little bit more like matchy matchy, but it works for now. And um, yeah, and then like I DIY this and just put some greenery on that. And then over here is like our little commando station. So this is like our cloth nappy setup. So we have like all our cloth nappies in these baskets up here. And then we have like um, liners over here, wipes, and like any like creams and essential oils that we use. We have hand sanitizer, and I just like put contact on here. I didn't do a very good job, guys, because it was like very rushed, but yeah. Um, and then we have his like diffuser over here. And in these cupboards, we have like more baskets for our no fold like setup. So we just like chuck his onesies in. He's like uh, pants and shirts and then like the same on this side. It's not as organized over here We have this um, Bookshelf which has honestly been in our family for like 10 years I just love how it's like the wash look and it has little stars and moons and it's definitely aged But it's so nice. So then we have like this macrame hanging on like the wall above his cot i was actually gonna put something there but i haven't got around to it and so it's like a bit weird that's why it's like off center um but we have like his cot and i absolutely love the color of this it's like a neutral like uh light wood like a naked wood and i feel like it really ties in with like the wash over here and that is also why i've done this color here so even though it's like not matchy matchy, I feel like it definitely ties in together with like the whites and like the wood colors and like the aquas and I just like really try to make it work. So that is his bed. And then over here we have like Humpty with like underneath that basket is like just the dirty clothes and stuff like that. So um, and then we have like the fluffy white rug which I feel like ties everything in again. We're walking out of Fedor's and onto the left we have our study and this is the room that needs the most work. It's just like uh, it's just a blank canvas. Um, <laughs> we have like a chair holding up our printer and our desk and um, I would love to paint this. Oh god guys like this needs a wash down. But I'm thinking of painting this desk either light grey or white. I haven't made up my mind. We're going to get like a better chair. These were actually the original dining chairs. Um, so this is like our study area. And then over here we just have like, I don't know, like a stool thing with like the basket. And I'd love to get curtains for this room. And then, so our house actually hasn't got that much storage. But in this wardrobe here is actually our utility wardrobe. As you can see, we have like spare towels, toilet paper, board games, because honestly, there's like no space anywhere. Like this is a four bedroom house and you'd think they'd build more storage, but under here we have like a vacuum cleaner, um, a carpet cleaner and a Christmas box. And then in here we have like just miscellaneous things. Okay, so there's two more rooms in this area. So I will take you in here. This is actually my sister's room. And for once, it's somewhat tidy. <laughs> So um, she just like has like the standard teenage stuff, like her bed, um, we have like this wall hanging and then her desk and then her dresser and again her wardrobe. I'm not going to go into too much depth in here um, because I want to keep her room as private as possible because you know it's her privacy. In here we have the main bathroom and so we have our shower. We have our vanity and like a mirror and then we have toilet and our bathtub. So it's pretty standard and I'd love to get like some pictures up there. I don't know, I, like this is definitely a blank canvas over here. Maybe some greenery, but um, it's just kind of like, I don't know, functional, I guess. And then we have like a little hand towel here for our hands <laughs> and then like up here is like where we hang our towels because there's no towel racks in here which is so weird pretty much it for our house tour if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further content and with all that said i will see you in the next video